Bay Chapel students, my name is Roger Parker Jr. and I'll be the MC for today. Now you may be wondering, why am I in a car? Well, I just wanted to give you an example that God can meet you anywhere that you are. Whether you're in your room, whether you are in a bathroom, whether you're in a kitchen or whether you are in a car, God will meet where you are. Somebody put a clap emoji in the chat to let yourself know that God will meet you wherever you are. We're so glad you are here. On behalf of Minister Alondio and Dr. Angela Hill, we would like to say welcome to Faith Chapel Students. It's gonna be a great time. Are you excited? If you're excited, put some fire emojis in the chat. Let's put some fire emojis in the chat now because we are about to come with some heat. What's up y'all? I'm super excited about today. It is the third week of March. Wow, look at that. It's this year is moving and it doesn't stop for anyone, right? So um, so anyways, young people, we're, we're super excited to have you here. Uh, my name is Alondi Ohia and super excited that you are joining us today. Hey, we're in a series called Identity. And so we started it two weeks ago. And so we're going to move, continue to move down this road as it relates to our identity. I do want to back up one session and then we'll go forward in the next one okay so i just want to do a really really quick recap of what we we've talked about we we've, we've been talking about who are you like who are you who who were you um who, who are you and where we get our identity our identity from you know um society tries to tell us where we get our identity from um people trying to tell us where we get our identity from um, but at the end of the day at the end of the day we have to lock in and know that our true identity it really comes from God and and just in case you wondering well what God are you talking about I'm talking about the God of the Bible that's that's who I'm talking about I don't I don't want to I don't want you to even wonder who am I referring who am I referring to? I'm referring to the God of the Bible. And um, so I, I just don't want to get it twisted. But what I do want you to do, I want you to when you walk up to someone or you go out into the world, I want you to start saying hello. Like as a young person, as a young person, as a a, a teenager, I want you to start saying hello. Hello, my name is your name and I attend blank school or hello, my name is and I blank, 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 right? It's, it's very important for you to tell someone who you are. Hello, my name is. Tell someone what, what your name is. It's your name. It's, 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 it's the name that your parents gave you hello my name is and you communicate your name to those particular individuals right and so just really want you to know that it's okay for your name to be your name your name is your name and that that's who you are right that's that that's what your name is that is who you were named right and so it's it's cool it's cool it's cool um so in this series on identity, we really want we want to relay that every human, every person on the face of the planet, whether you choose to call yourself a Christian or not, uh, every human being is or has been created in the image of God. We are not in the image of animals. We're, we're not in the image of an animal. Um, I'm not on my fours and I'm not in the image of a dog. I'm, I'm not on my fours. I'm not in the image of a horse. I'm not on my fours and I'm not in the image. I don't, I don't slide on the ground like a snake. I'm, I'm, I'm not in the image of a snake, right? I'm in the image of God. And, and you are in the image of God. And and that doesn't change. It, it doesn't change. It never changes. When, when a human births another a, a human births another human a human will give birth to another human 
a dog will give birth to puppies. Uh, a, 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 an animal gives birth to that particular animal, right? So we, it doesn't change. It, it never has changed. Um, and so just wanting to make sure that we all on the same page, that that does not change and it will never, ever change, right? But at the same time, it's, it's very important that we understand that human beings was, will be born into sin. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's important to understand that God created human beings perfect. But then when sin, when the human being sinned, it created an environment of sin. It just created this environment of sin. So now every time a human being is born, now they're born into this environment of sin. And uh, and there are things that are absolutely, once they are born, there are things and situations that are trying to get them to not be identified with who God is. There, there are things and people and 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 situations that are trying to get them to act opposite than who than the image of God, right? And so, I think I think if you just look in the world, just look in the world and just see right now. Are there more things out here that are trying to get us or we as young people or you as young people to do opposite than what God, than what God is or who God is? Just look and see. Like, just, just, just look and see. Like, I don't even have to give you different things. Just look and see. Do those things match or line up with what God tells us to do or how to obey direction or things the way God tells us to obey directions and things? So just look and see. You know, I'm not even trying to tell you. Um, does it match up with, with what God says? If it does to you, then show others in God's word where it matches up. If it doesn't, show us in God's word where it doesn't match up. So I, I would strongly encourage you to do that. Look, look for yourself. Um, every human being, when they're born into sin, there's this brokenness and this sinful nature that wants to kind of rise up more than the image of God. And that's why we need God. That's why we God sent his son Jesus into the earth because we needed him. We, we need him. Um, it, it's not a coincidence. We need him. And so when we choose him, when we choose Jesus, when we choose to follow God, when we choose his plan and his direction for our lives, then we come against those sinful things. We come against that. And sometimes when, when we come against that, Sometimes people think we're coming against them. If if they're continuing to operate from a sinful place, it can feel like we're coming against them, but we just choose not to go in that direction. We choose to obey God. And oftentimes, think about it. Oftentimes when you're doing right, when you're doing the right thing, uh, most time, most of the times people call that weak. 
or people will say, man, you weak, or man, you this, man, you. It's, it's amazing when you're doing the right thing. It's considered weak. Nah. The scripture says this. Woe to him who calls right wrong and wrong what right. It's bad. It's bad to call right wrong and wrong right. Come on. So, yeah. So, our identity has to be connected to Christ. We need to know who God says, what God says about us and who we are in him. That's where our identity lies. And so I, I want to go back to um, the verse that we read. I'm gonna, not going to read all of it, but I'm, our background verse is Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. And so verse 26, God said, let us make man or let us make human beings in our image to be like us. So let us make human, human beings in our image to be like us. Human beings in our image to be like us. And then it goes on down. So God created human beings in his own image. We were designed, our identity comes from God. Whether you believe that or not, I just want you to know your identity comes from God. It doesn't come from who you want to, who you think you should be. No, 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 no. That's the problem when you think that you're greater than the creator. No car ever said, I'm greater than the creator. I'm greater than that. No, the car is designed by a creator. And the car does exactly what the creator designed the car to do. Well, we're, we're in the image of God and God gives us the opportunity to partner with him to find out what he designed us to do and to be for him. And anything that's outside of the design is not from him. So all day long, you can say, yeah, God created me like this. But if you're saying he created you like 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 something or or like like whatever, but it doesn't line up with what he said, then somebody lying. I'm not I'm not calling you a lie, right? <laughs> I'm not calling you a lie. But I'm just saying somebody lying. Somebody ain't telling the truth. Somebody not telling the truth. Because if God said this and you saying it's something else, then somebody ain't telling the truth. And I got to believe God is always the one who's going to be telling the truth. Now, whether we re- whether we want to like it or not, whether we want to work on ourselves or not, somebody has to understand that God is the one telling the truth. You know, all day long, all day long, you can say, yeah, I'm, 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 I was created to steal. No, 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 no. You may be, a, you may have grew up around stealers. You may have grown up around people validating your, your stealing. You may have grown up around people who celebrate you stealing. You may have been around people who just, um, uh, allow you to steal and not correct you and so in your mind you believe that is who you are but then you find out in the scriptures that the scripture says do not steal do not take from somebody else um, and you still do it then somebody got it off. I don't care what everybody told you. I don't care what they didn't say to you. Your identity is not in what they said. 
This is what God says. God says, do not steal. So you have a choice to make. I can keep going down this direction. I can keep experiencing what I'm experiencing by going down this direction. Or I can make some changes and go in a different direction. Right? So God didn't create you to do that. Well, so you got to make sure you're lining up with what the scripture says. That That's so important. And then, then he says, in the image of God, he created them. He created male and female. He created them. God created you. I I I'm um I just wanted to know let you know that's where we we jumped on started with God created us. God created us and 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 it's it's an honor and a privilege that he created us. And so God created us to worship him. So our lives should be a worship unto him. Our lives should be a worship unto what the scripture, the Bible says, our lives should be an example of what the script says. And then our lives are to show the world who he is. So by the way I live, by the way I talk, by the way I act, by the way I operate, by the way I treat people, it should show the world who Jesus is, who, who God is, who the Holy Spirit is. It should show them who he is. And so, just want to really uh, let you know that that's where we're going with identity. Do you know that you are unique? You know, there are things that make you just uniquely you. Uh, sometimes it's the way your eyes look. So everybody's eyes are not the same. They're, 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 they may be a little wider. It may be a little closed. It may be slanted. Uh, your eyes are different. Um, your nose is different. Some some people hairline is different. Some people have a, a hairline that's back here. Some people have a hairline that's right here. Some people have the um, uh, those that hairline that kind of starts back here. It, 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 we're, we're different. Some people have ears that are uh, you know kind of like that. Some people have ears that are like that. Some people have small ears. Some people have large ears. Their ears, and, and at the end of the day, their ears you can hear with, right? So it's just different. Uh, uh, but you're unique. You're, you're, you are unique. You are unique. One of the greatest uniqueness that I think all of us have is our fingerprint. My fingerprint is not like your fingerprint. Your fingerprint is not like my fingerprint. Everyone has a different fingerprint. You are uniquely different. And you are amazing. You are in the image of God. There's no one like our God. No one like our God. Young, young sister, there's no one like our God and there's no one like you. My little young brother, there's no one like our God and there's no one like you. When, 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 when the doctor saw you and, and your, your, your mom pushed you out and they saw you and it was like, yeah, it's a girl. There was no other girl like you. When, when, your mom pushed you out, it was a boy. And the doctor said, it's a boy. There was no other young boy that looks like you. You are uniquely different. And you are uniquely designed to show who God is. You are that particular individual. And don't let anybody don't let don't let culture fool you and thinking that I can just choose what I want to do choose how I want to live choose how who I want to be don't let culture do you like that don't don't let the 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 system of the world do you like that don't get tricked into that 
No, 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 no. Go to the source. Young person, teenager, teenager, middle schooler, high schooler. Don't let them put, put you into that, that, that particular cycle. No, the, there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof is destruction. God does not want any destruction to come to you. None. We all have to resist something. We all have to fight. We all have to fight. We all have to fight. And you have to fight things that are not in line with scripture. You have to fight things that do not line up with the word of God. You got to fight. You got to fight. But it's on you. It's on you. It's on you. So listen, we're going down this road and I want you to know that you're uniquely different. And your fingerprint is that thing that lets you know how different you are and God created you amazing. Hey, we're going to jump back in um, next week and we're going to dive into a scripture that talks about how different you are. We love you. God bless you. Have a great rest of the day. All right. So now we are transitioning into our time of tithes and offerings. So you got your tithes and offering ready? Are you ready to give? Because now it's time to give and keep expanding the faith that God has placed within you. Malachi 3.10, it says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse and there will be meat in my house. And I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. You want a blessing? You want a blessing? Me too. Me too. And that's why we give. So repeat this after me. Say, I am a giver. I receive abundance. I receive abundance in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, there are four ways to give. If you would like to give via the app, you can. If you'd like to give via online, you can. If you would like to give through mail, you can. And if you would like to give via text, you can. So you got those four ways. Go ahead and take care of that and be blessed in your giving. Thank you so much, Facebook, for watching. We love you. Have an amazing week. Now, for those who are watching on Zoom right now, make sure you stay in that Zoom call because we are about to break out into our breakout rooms to catch up with our light groups. Let's see what's up. See y'all.